Yeah, so what I got in front of me here is this little uh, collection of stuff I bought a couple of days ago for making trees. <coughs> At least uh, possibilities look intriguing. Uh, this is uh, got a Hobby Lobby natural birch branch. I think I might be able to do something with this. Um, it's actually kind of overkill. It's just about three or four feet long, but I picked it because the branch structure seemed uh, fairly fine. At least some of the finer stuff I could find there. So uh, let's see what I can do with that. So this is, yeah, birch natural branches. And this is natural dried caspia here. And it's a little bit on the white side. I'm thinking I could probably take my acrylic uh, airbrush and paint it a bit of a green. But uh, it looked intriguing to me because it had a very fine branch structure to it. So uh, I'll have to do some experimenting and see what uh, how far I get with this. I actually use that. I actually think this might work good for making quaking aspen. Maybe. After I maybe airbrush a little bit. It's got some possibilities. So I, I picked that up. Polyfiber, some of that. Um, and some more big clump foliage for bushes and small trees and stuff like that. Um, and I went ahead and I thought I'd give it a shot. Try messing around with, uh, yes indeed, Woodland Scenics Realistic Tree Kits. See what kind of mileage I can get out of that. So. And uh, uh, I've got some of this, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it, but it was relatively cheap, this bag of uh, natural moss. I suppose the only thing, the drawback behind this is that this could uh, dry out later. I could probably use this as kind of a ground cover in spots. Maybe around the base of the trees or something like that. Um, that's got some possibilities here. So, uh, stumbled across a uh, article. Actually, it's a free download. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, the website where I got this is uh, myhobbymodels.com flip this around. I'll probably put this on as an annotation on my video. But uh, looks like an interesting idea. You have to register to be able to download this uh, little uh, booklet here. So uh, it actually looks pretty interesting and I think that's what I'm going to try messing around with first. See how that works. So, so I got some, uh, some stranded wire, some 18 gauge. Go ahead and cut a few. I'll cut them a little bit longer than necessary because I'm going to be trimming them down. But this maybe will be a little bit, uh, I think two will be enough. And maybe three. Eh, two. That's probably enough. I'm trying to make up my mind here. And I'm going to do first. What I'm going to do first is try to find my wire stripper. <laughs> Strip it off all the way. Leave a little bit at the end here. Kind of act as a handle while I tie these two bundles of wire together. Like that. What I did was I leave a little bit of wire on here as kind of a handle. Keep these tied together while I. Uh, this is the trunk I'm making here. Right here. I'm just going to twist this together and uh, a little book there recommends using some uh, thread. There you go, you got the branch here, the main, two main leaders here. Using a little thread to uh, tie this stuff up, at least to hold it preliminary in place because I'm going to be using a mixture of uh, plaster and glue 
basically form the bark around this, so... And plus a little acrylic paint, paint, brown acrylic paint mixed in to give it some color, but that's what this article recommends, so... I'm gonna go with that. But first, uh... Gotta make the basic, uh, basic tree structure. That. And actually, since this wire is copper... Uh, since this wire is copper, I'm probably going to just go ahead and uh, actually solder some of uh, these uh, sub-branches on. There. Now I'm taking my little handles I've got on here. I'm just taking them off. And there we go. We've got our first... Uh, got the main trunk and these first two branches. And yeah, this is a little bit long. A little bit on the long side, but I uh, actually uh, want it that way. Just, uh, because I can always trim it down, so it's always better to have it a little bit longer than, uh, than too short. I'm going to put some more leaders on here, some more branches coming off here. Maybe a couple over here, and we'll just play around with this, see how well this works. Alright, I'm just going to add a couple more branches on here into this article recommends using finer wire for some of the lighter branches. I don't happen to have any on me right now, so I'm just going to make do with what I have and see how things turn out. The only thing I'm trying to solder this stuff on is that I can get uh, some pretty nasty blobs on here. I don't think I want that. here. Basically just clamp this and pull this off. There, like that. Do the same over here. And I've got the uh, beginnings of a tree at least. Looks a bit unwieldy right now because uh, strands are a bit on the long side. but. Uh, let me trim this off a little bit. And we can start actually spreading some of these branches out like that. And actually I could probably put more on. Just kind of work this out. These little branches here. Let me do the same over here. 